All right, it is time to play. We're gonna take a look at what the requirements are in the hub uh, to get the next level upgraded because I do want to accomplish that in this video. At the same time, I wanna show you a few things that I've worked on in the meantime. Let's head on over to the hub and see what's going on there. Let's see, um, what I need is those that I already collected from the valley where, where uh, they were already being made. So that's the plastic and the rubber. I still need to create the cloth. So I need to be able to get the recipe from the ma'am and then I can go do the cloth. And uh, I need my psyllium to make cloth or to get the recipe for cloth. Uh, and that'll get me a gas mask, which that'll be helpful. So let's go ahead and go on over to the ma'am and let's see what, uh, what we can get as far as a recipe for the uh, fabric. There it is. And it looks like I've got what it takes or do I? Oh, shoot. I don't have a hundred biofuel. So I need to get find the hundred biofuel first. Well, let's see if we can get that. Let's see if we can go make some. I can make biomass out of mycelia. Okay, let's do that. Let's make enough just for the recipe. Don't use it all. Yes, let's start the research. And good, we now have the recipe for fabric. Confirm, good. What I need to do now is I need to go down to the area down below and I need to get the product from down below up here. I'm just going straight down in order to uh, bring the conveyor belts up here and it'll, uh, it'll be interesting. Uh, I'm gonna try out using a blueprint for the first time and see how it helps me get up the hill with all that product. All right, here we come. Okay, so you can see everything that I've set up down here. You know, I have a bunch of tanks there for fuel. I have set up all of this uh, infrastructure for this one oil refinery here. Actually, three oil refineries. There's one oil extractor here, pulling off to three different oil refineries that each pull their own product and waste out. Two of them have a waste product and then one of them just makes fuel. So the, and then the waste product is turned to fuel later. So the fuel I'm just storing at the moment. And frankly, you know, I don't have a use for it yet, but I'll have a use for it when I uh, have the power plants. Okay, and then in my uh, containers, I've got three different things that can be made and transported up, the polymer resin, the plastic, and the, uh, the rubber. The uh, refineries are making those items at this point, and what I wanna do is I wanna get a conveyor to take those up to to the major factory. Now I wanna make my job a little bit easier by creating a blueprint so that I can just plunk pieces of the conveyor down and not have to build the entire conveyor system. So let's go ahead and build a blueprint designer right down there. So I'm gonna just start here in the center so let's start with logistics. Let's start by stacking these three high. Looks like I've got it a little bit too far away. A little bit outside of the line there. So I'm gonna have to take that down and, and bring it in a little bit. Okay, that makes it three high. Now I wanna go to the opposite side and I wanna stay in line with this one. I'll follow the green line. I'll do that on over to the edge. And I'll stack that one three high. And then I'll go ahead and put a conveyor between each of those levels. There we go. First one. There we got it. Man, sometimes getting those pointed right is a little challenging. Okay, there we go. And... There. Okay, that does look good. 
I drew them all from one direction to the next direction, all the same, so that they're all going to be going the same direction. That's critical. And now I can go save the blueprint. Triple stack conveyor. And I'm just going to go save the blueprint. And there we go. All right. And that should be totally saved. We can go ahead and uh, see that it's there. I'm going to clear the designer, which means I cleared it off of the, the floor there. All of the product goes into the bags that are on the designer. So you can go pick that up easy, just like I just did. Um, see that arrow over there? That arrow means the and that you attach it to maybe. So I'm gonna have to turn it completely around. So I've got the arrow at me. There we go. The arrow is pointing toward me in this case. There we go. Okay. All right. And you can see the conveyor's connected. There we go. And the product has come now down to the end of the blueprinted section of conveyors. So I'm just gonna move, put another one in here, connect them up again. And I'm gonna keep doing that until I get all the way back to the home base. Now, I'm not gonna have you stick with me during this whole you know, building session, but suffice it to say, I'm gonna go from here, I'm gonna go through a valley, all the way up, I'm gonna kind of follow the power lines and we're gonna to get to the place where I've got those 12 power plants. Uh, at that point, I've got a cliff to navigate. So um, I will see you when it comes time uh, for me to navigate that cliff and to begin going up the cliff and bringing the product to the top uh, of that cliff, even with the factory that's up on the top. Three weeks later. All right, I'm back. I've got the uh, the triple conveyor on up to where all 12 of my coal power plants are. And I'm ready now to work out the issue of getting this elevated up and over the cliff. Okay, I'm gonna create a platform out of here because what I discovered is that the conveyor lift is only just so tall. Um, I've got to take it up to an intermediary point. And once I get it up to that intermediary point, then I can go the rest of the way up the cliff. So this is the platform, the height that I think it will come to. So I'm gonna go ahead and build it here and then we'll, we'll go ahead and put the conveyor lift up to this point. Okay, there's my base. Okay, attach it to the cliff there. Okay, there's the uh, thing down and I'm standing on air up there. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm glad I had one foot on the platform at least. Let's go ahead and put our first lift up there and see how, how that's gonna do. Okay, doesn't look like I can get up quite high enough. So let's just build a, let's go ahead and build a four meter uh, platform instead of just the, the one meter platform. And maybe we can jog, jockey it so it's a little bit more, uh, more in line with the upper hard against the cliff. Okay. There's the platform. Let's go ahead and put a ramp on it so we can get up on it easy. And put one next to it here. There we go. All right. I think we'll go here for the first one. And up we go. 
All right, let's go take a look. I think we could probably do a little bit better. And that placement looks a little awkward. Okay, let's try again. There we go. Bingo. Let's do the next one. Put it right next to it. Yep, there we go. And straight up. Turn that one going this way. Okay. Looks good. And one conveyor. Choke to that one. Okay. And one conveyor to that one. And one conveyor to that one. And up goes the product. Alright, let's go see the see it topside here. Okay, now that looks impressive, don't you think? Yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and build out over this direction. Then we can get it exactly the height we want it. Okay. Put it the same height, okay. Product coming from all three of them. Yahoo! There we go. All right, time for a conveyor belt. Bingo! One down, two, two down, three, three down. And I have brought product all the way down from the oil field up to storage on the main level of the factory. That's quite an accomplishment. That is quite the accomplishment. A few moments later. Get some stuff from my bags and then we can run back down to the valley and see what we can accomplish there. Hopefully making some fabric. What is this big head of mine? Huh? Oh, that's right. It's April Fool's Day. So that's their April Fool's joke, huh? I guess I didn't notice it before. <laughs> but it sure is funny. I, I don't have the big head when I land. It does At least I can't see me to see whether I have a big head or not. Oh, it looks like, you know, I can make one fabric. I need 25. Grabbing some more biomass. fabric. Now I can go to the hub. I can put fabric in there and ready for launch. Bingo. Milestone unlocked. I now have a will ensure gas mask. Of survival in gas -based hazardous Yay. Fix it incorporated would like to survival extend the friendly advice to not forget to change filters regularly. Don't forget to change filters regularly. Interesting. Okay. How many filters do I need? How do you make filters? Okay. 
Okay, there's the gas mask and the gas filters. So the gas mask. What do I need there? I need plastic and I need rubber. So I need to go grab some rubber and plastic from up above. And for the filter, I need rubber and coal. So I have to get those and come back down and get that taken care of. Okay, so I want to go ahead and build this other one here because I have enough product to do it. Let's go ahead and hit start research. Now I've got poly polyester synthetic fabric. And if I had more wire, I could build that and this one if I had rotors. I need a hundred rotors to build that. So it's getting to the point where I need to move the MAM up to the main level. I need to move the hub up to the main level. Um, I think I need to move all my headquarter type items uh, where I started up to basically my new headquarters. So I'm investigating all the things that I can do with whatever what I have. All right, so I think I'll call it a, a day uh, at this point. We've made a lot of progress. And I, if you've enjoyed being along with me, you know, give this, uh, give this video a thumbs up and, and uh, like it and uh, come back for more by subscribing. Uh, so we'll look forward to, to seeing you again. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.